What is going on everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tag YouTube channel. We have the iPhone in front of us and the topic is how do you edit raw photos on iPhone? Now, you should at first know which device is actually supported. Because for example, in my hand I hold the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This one does not support it unfortunately. Only devices starting with the iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max all of the Pro devices since then support it. So 13 and 14 and even 15 Pro definitely support raw photos on iPhone. Now, what are they? Basically, it's uh, Apple's Pro Raw camera feature combines the flexibility of raw files with computational photography benefits. So it basically combines, it just takes most uh, amount of information it possibly can and also uses some post-processing for you to have the best image with the most amount of data to work with. So that's really good. Of course, you can um, adjust it in the settings. As I said, this iPhone does not support it, but if I go to, the, to my photos, you're gonna notice that this is a screenshot from the iPhone 14 uh, Pro. You can see in the formats inside of the camera settings, you can see there is the Pro Raw. So at first you have to enable it for you to be able to use it. But once you can, or once you have any photos with in this format ready on your iPhone, you can come back to the Photos app and you can actually perform some edits even within the Photos app. So you can actually edit it in here directly in the Apple Photos, but only some basic things like exposure, adjustments, cropping and applying filters. This stuff can be done on the raw photos here as well. But in case you want to export the original raw image, you shouldn't really perform any changes to it because it's then, then it's just not going to be the raw thing that you are basically going for. In this case, you should either duplicate that image and export it with AirDrop, send it to your Mac, or find a different way to export it. If not using AirDrop, you can duplicate the image, you can revert the, the changes. So as I said, you, if you perform some changes within the Photos app to the raw photo, and you want to then move it over as still as a raw photo, you should duplicate it and revert the changes so you get to the original state. So that's what you should know about that. Of course, Besides just using the Photos app for some basic editings, you can use some third-party apps as well. Now, you should know that this isn't something which I necessarily use personally. And before we continue, I need to show you this. So if you go to the link down below in the description, this is off topic, but I need to show it to you because this is the Fox Tech educational platform, which you can join for free. The link is going to be down below in the description and inside you're going to find video editing course, there is the all apps explained course, a community tab where you can see other people are learning as well. So make sure to join for free. The link is going to be down below in the description. But basically what I wanted to show you in terms of third body apps is that you have an entire section inside of the uh, inside of the app store for raw photos. So when I look up raw photos inside of the app store, I should be able to see it as a story. So when you go in here, you can, of course, install apps, which work specifically well within uh, within the uh, app store. So that's really good as well. But OK, so this is what I wanted to show you inside of the app store. There is literally a section for a raw photo editing. So you can see some of our favorite photo apps uh, included these. And there is a list which you can, of course, download some apps which allow you to actually, as you can see, edit raw photos. So make sure to go ahead and look up this website. It's going to be linked down below in the description. And basically using this, you're going to be able to get inside or find out about some apps which work best for raw photo editing. So yeah, on the iPhone, you can of course edit that like in a depth and get much more out of these pictures. So definitely go ahead and check it out. But I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, I would really appreciate if you hit the thumbs up down below and also subscribe so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later.